Shipping, 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 shipping. You guys want to ship woofers? You got to do it the right way. So a lot of guys use like two by fours in the box <clears throat> or the pool noodles around here. Like you guys are dumb. So you're kind of wasting everybody's time. Absolutely never ever use foam peanuts. Those are a waste of time. They're bad for the environment and they don't work. So uh, what I do is I get all my boxes from Canyon State Box. If you can get them from somewhere else, that's fine. But here locally in Phoenix, I get them from Canyon State Box over there off of, uh, what is it? It's like I-10 and the Chandler Boulevard. So, but anyways, this is a 12 cubed. And so what you do is you do the bottom first, right? I got the paper tape dispenser, picked this up at an auction for 50 bucks. It has a, a you can do predetermined, pre-cut or measured whatever pieces. And when it works properly, it works fucking great. But this one doesn't work properly. And I think it's like $200 to fix it. You just gotta time it. The old, you know, click commander time shit. You time it just right, and then it, you put it on and it's good to go. So once you got this, flip it over, put it down. You wanna put down a base of foam. Now this foam I get, I also get from Canyon State Box. Um, they used to just sell materials, and, and they still do, but they actually make way more money in custom packaging, and so that's what they do now. And the stuff that I get is basically their waste. Normally, they, they throw it away, and it just takes up a lot of space, and uh, you can't, like, you know, like styrofoam, you can soak into uh, gasoline, and it just dissolves, and uh, that way it doesn't take up any space. Uh, but you can't really do that in a lot of uh, environments without, you know, Bunch of precautions, a bunch of other stuff that's kind of dangerous. So this you just throw away in the trash and then it goes in the landfill on the reservation. So, but uh, they leave it out there for us and then we pick it up and we re-up it, reuse it. So I don't really care what color it comes in. It does come in a couple of uh, standards. Like this one is like a medium density. They also make one that's a high density. It's really, really firm. And usually I try to save that for, um, uh, what do you call it? For like motors and, and subwoofers. So. Uh, you put about we put about two inches on the bottom and then what I do is I use a thin piece up here that fits in between uh, the box so and because I use a 12 cube box it just butts up right next to it in fact it'll stretch it out on the sides just a just a hair which is not a big deal because that's not where the padding is basically the inner box is the idea is to isolate the cone and the surround from the rest of the box and then what you do is you put that box in another box now, UPS standards are typically four inches of high density foam on each side of the package. And so that's how big you box one. So if we're doing a 12 cube, you got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then another four, that's 20. So you wanna have at least 20 inches cubed. Now, the boxes that I have available, I actually found uh, at Lowe's has some really good deals. And they have this bigger one, which is 22 inches. So what do you know? A little bit extra foam. And because I get the foam for cheap, it works out for me. So. You pack it in this box, it's nice and tight, maybe include whatever tools or stickers or whatever, and then that box goes into another box. So, and then you just fill it with foam. And uh, top assemblies are a little bit different. You wanna pack it a little bit different because they're super light. This is, you know, imagine somebody just tossing it out of a truck and that's what it has to survive, you know, over and over again, especially if it's a long distance. These are just going to Tucson, so I can pack these tonight and the guy will get them tomorrow. It's pretty rad. Um, but um, I, I wanted to show you about packing because a lot of guys, we just had a guy send a Sunfire motor or subwoofer to us and he only did a single box and it was only two inches of foam on the bottom and what do you know, it showed up shifted. So that happens and the problem is is that with UPS, they actually farm out the insurance to a third party and that third party has an army of people that get paid when you don't. Right, so it's their job to keep you from getting paid. So, uh, and typically on a lot of the packages, we just do $100 flat because it really just, and then like sometimes we had, um, oh, I, sorry, I forgot the other thing. Uh, Cause we had one guy, I said, I shipped him a motor and it, it, they threw it and then it, because it had so much foam, it actually bounced and ripped out of the inner box, out of the outer box. And then like, they just delivered the empty box and it was like, thanks guys. Uh, but um, what we do is we use the string tape. String tape, I buy by the case. Again, Canyon State Box. Um, they just have really good rates. Then they can ship to you. It's a lot cheaper than Uline. Uline services, of course, the whole country, but you're gonna pay top dollar for that shit. So 
I buy by the case. It's very expensive. It's like, I think it's $250 a case, but it really fucking works and it's great. So um, when we do the inner box, then we do all three axis uh, with string tape to make sure that it doesn't come apart. Uh, so the motor doesn't bounce out or the subwoofer in this case doesn't bounce out. And then also we do the outer box, same thing. And uh, it also, I, <laughs> I remember when I was selling on eBay, I, sh I shipped an amp one time to a guy in Oregon and he got mad at me that the box was wet. And I, and I was gonna explain to him that I don't control the weather and that he lives in Oregon. But I was like, nope. And I just took the hit. I just took the fucking negative feedback. I was like, this guy's an idiot. So, uh, but just remember that most people are stupid. So you got to take care. And, and, you know, if people were smarter, we wouldn't need lawyers and policemen and locks on our doors. But um, we need those things because there's lots of stupid people. So just real brief on to show you guys how to pack a heavy subwoofer or anything really heavy like that. It's basically just double boxing. You don't really need to do triple box, uh, especially when you use the string tape because it really holds tight. Um, then on top of that, uh, we do the UPS label and then we actually laminate it with uh, clear tape. Um, it helps too if when you're packing it, if you put a, you know, an invoice, if you have a printed invoice that also has the, the to and the from and contact information in case it does get opened or inspected or whatever, they know who to contact in case they have any questions. So just be very open about it. You're not, you know, you're not sending drugs or anything like that. Just be thoughtful, right? Even when other people aren't, right? Uh, forgive them, those who trespassed against us, all that kind of shit. So uh, I love you guys. I will talk to you later.